In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, Do not resist him who is evil, but whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, let him have your coat also. And whoever shall force you to go one mile, go with him too. That's in Matthew 5, verses 39 through 41. In days gone by, this passage has frequently been used as a call to pacifism. But if it is that, it would end up meaning that even a woman could not fight off an attacker. It would mean that no one could ever defend themselves, and a nation couldn't raise an army in its own defense. That's absurd. But if it doesn't mean that, what does it mean? This whole thing begins with the words, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Jesus is clearly laying out an incorrect understanding of the Old Testament law of justice. There, judges were instructed on the fair punishment in civil cases. Leviticus 24, 19 through 20 says, And if a man injures his neighbor, just as he has done, so it shall be done to him. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, just as he has injured a man, so it shall be inflicted on him. The Pharisees were making the punishment an obligation. If someone accidentally put out your eye, then the Pharisee contended that putting out the defendant's eye was an obligation. But the Pharisees were wrong. Leviticus 24 is giving judges guidance so they don't take their verdicts beyond what would be fair. Although a hallmark of Jesus' ministry in the kingdom that he established, mercy was still something that God expected of the Israelites under the Old Testament. Love your neighbor. Leave gleanings in the field for the poor. Treat a servant kindly, remembering that you once were a slave in Egypt. Kindness was to characterize them. Perhaps it should be expected even more in us having seen the way Jesus was treated for our own salvation. We should remember that the next time we're about to exact our righteous retribution on someone. What did Paul call it? The fruit of the Spirit?